Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big and it doesn't matter which sport you're betting on. Today we're going to be talking about the National Hockey League, the NHL, and there's about a quarter of the way remaining to be played in the season and the playoff races are certainly starting to heat up. So we have several uh, interesting matchups for you for Saturday, February the 8th. So we're going to take a look at some of these right now. And remember, if you're not already a member, please join up and you'll have access to this uh, VIP club section with all these wonderful different tools to help you make your picks. So let's get started taking a look at some of these games. So we're going to scroll down through here on the list and see what we have in store. And the first matchup I want to look at is the Arizona Coyotes and the Boston Bruins. Arizona has a fourth place record in the Pacific Division. They head to Boston to face the top team in the Atlantic. The yeah, Coyotes are 14-11-3 on the road. Boston is 18-2-9 at home. If you look at the stats right now, Arizona is dead and they have lost 5 out of their last 6. Boston is burning hot at the moment and they have won 5 out of their last 6. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that Boston has been trending upward and they are at plus 30. And look at the downward spiral for the Coyotes at plus 23 back on January 16th and they are all the way down to plus 5 at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup this season, you'll see that Boston won the first meeting by a 1-0 score on the road. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering betting the over-under in this one, Arizona is playing in games trending under the line, if you look at the red line compared to the blue line. And Boston is playing in games trending under as well, so expect another low-scoring game between these two teams. If you look at how stable the two teams are, you take a look at the volatility oscillator, and you will see... That both teams are pretty stable. Boston at plus 10, Arizona at plus 7, which means that they are performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. I don't see much of a contest in this one. I think Boston will win this one going away, probably by two goals. Next one we want to look at is the Colorado Avalanche and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Both teams have to play third in their respective divisions. Colorado is 12, 11, and 2 on the road. And Columbus is 17-9-2 at home. Colorado is averaged down at the moment, and they have won four out of their last six. As you see, they won their last meeting 6-1 to one against Buffalo. Columbus is burning hot at the moment. You can see they have won five out of their last six. They're only lost coming to Buffalo 2-1 to one back on February the 1st. If you look at the power ranking indicator, Notice that both teams are in a little bit of a downward trend. Well, Columbus is pretty much a little stable here, but they're at plus 24, and Colorado is down to plus 19. Head to head, uh, you see that Colorado won the first meeting between the two teams by a 4 to 2 score back on November the 9th of last year, 2019. If you're considering the over under on this one, Colorado is playing in games trending over the line, but you see Columbus is playing in games trending well under the line. I would probably tend to go to the under because you see that there's a bigger uh, difference between uh, Columbus under compared to up here for Colorado's over, so I would go with the under on this one. Volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been. There's one thing to take note here. Colorado is at minus one, meaning they are unstable take their favorite underdog status lightly when considering the bets on this one. Overall, I think that Columbus will even the score winning the game at home by probably a couple of goals. Scroll down through here to another matchup. You see there's plenty of matchups here, the full slate of games, but I'm only going to go over five of them here. And the next one I want to look at here is, scroll down further, is Toronto and Montreal. In this Atlantic Division battle, the 4th place Maple Leafs take on the 5th place Canadians. Toronto enters 13-11-2 on the road. Montreal is only 11-14-4 at home. You see that Toronto right now is burning hot. Winners of 3 out of their last 4. Montreal is average at the moment. They have won 4 out of their last 6. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the upward trend for Toronto. They are up here to plus 23. And Montreal went down slightly from plus 14 to plus 13 over the last couple of days. Head to head so far this season, you will see that Montreal has won both meetings 5 to 2 at home and 6 to 5 on the road. 
considering the favorite underdog, or excuse me, considering the over and under in this one, Toronto is playing in games trending well over the line. Montreal is playing in games trending other line, under the line. I would probably avoid betting on this one because of the differences right there. But you might want to edge a little bit on the over. If you look at the uh, volatility oscillator, take notice right here that Montreal is very unstable at the moment, minus four compared to Toronto's plus nine. So really don't take a look at the favorite underdog stats for Montreal when considering the bets on this one. So I'm looking for Toronto to come back and win this one on the road, pulling away late in the game. The next game I want to look at is Calgary versus Vancouver. The Flames are ice cold down at the moment. They have lost four out of their last five. Vancouver is burning hot down. They won their previous four, but they've lost their last two by four nothing, four to three scores. Both teams play in the Pacific Division. The Flames are fourth, and they are 14, 12, and two on the road. The Canucks are first and 17, five and three at home. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see an advantage for Vancouver of plus 26, and plus 12. But you see both teams are on a slight decline lately. Considering the over and under, like we always consider, let's take a look at this one. Calgary is playing in games trending slightly over the line. Vancouver is playing in games trending under the line. So again, this is probably one to avoid as far as the over-under is concerned. Let's take a look at how stable the two teams have been. Both teams are playing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog stats. As you see, both are fairly significantly over the uh, zero line at plus eight and plus six. So what I'm looking at this one here is I'm thinking that Vancouver probably won't have too much problem winning this one there. It's clearly the better team there, and they're much better at home. Calgary is on the road, so I think they will win this one probably going away. The last game I want to look at is Carolina and Vegas. Carolina is average at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. Vegas is burning hot. They have won two out of their last three. The power rankings indicator, you can see both teams were on an upward trend. Carolina is up at plus 20. Vegas is back up to plus uh, 15 after down as well as plus 8. Considering the over and under like we always do, look at this. Carolina is playing in games trending well under the line. Vegas is playing in games well over the line. So which way do you go? In a situation like this, I tend to avoid betting the over under because it's too much over compared to too much under. It's really hard to determine which way it will go. So the safest play is just not to bet at all on this one. Carolina is uh, sixth in the Metropolitan Division, but they have a decent 12-11-2 road mark. The Knights are third in the Pacific, 14-10-3 at home. And they did win the first meeting between the two teams. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that Golden Knights won 4-3 in their last meeting. And we already took a look at the power ranking indicator, so we don't need to do that again. How stable are the two teams? You will see, again, as I always like to look at this, to see how well they're performing according to their favorite underdog status. You see both of them are trending fairly significant over the zero line, so take note of their favorite underdog status in this one. I think Vegas should win. They're clearly the better team, and they will come away with the win in this game. So there you have it for the picks. But now I want you to see one other thing here. So if I scroll back up to the top here of this page, you'll see where it says hot trends. You'll see the top automated systems. That's what you want to look at here. Take a look at them. And notice you can search by sport. And since we're talking about hockey, let's search by hockey. So we'll go down here to NHL. And so at that, you'll see what comes up. You'll see the top systems for NHL. There we go. Top systems for NHL, you'll see Hot dog system first, peak system, J system, and these are ranked according to their profit, which is mostly what people want to look at. Profit here at the very end, and there's charts that go along with it. There's all different kinds of things you can look at. Return on investment, average deviation, trust factor percentage. So if you're really into the numbers, you can look at all of these. So again, the only way to access this, though, is to, is to become a member. So please join and make your picks every single week, and you will win big every single time. So enjoy the games this weekend, and we will see you next time.